Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of K. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'm still faffing about in the cat village. That's a nice reward. I didn't think this would be bananas. But yes, I am looking for bananas! Against all logic, because, uh... to use the bananas to bribe a dude at the gate so I can get outside, find some pumpkins, and further the plot. I finally have the foggiest idea where to look. You know, I know everybody hates her generally, but this is exactly why uh, Nintendo put Navi into Zelda. So that if the player gets stuck, she can give them a gentle reminder of what they're supposed to be doing. Well, you can't double jump from a somersault jump. Damn you. Nope, no bananas down here. I didn't think there would be, but, you know, I don't know this game's logic yet. Maybe it's the kind of game where stuff just shows up in places you've already been. Pistrick. north in this map. Fuck you, chair! The chair does not give a shit about what I am doing. Jumped right past it. Oh, I liked that. Pretty sure that's more of a dog thing, but you know what? I'll allow it because it's funny. I mean, I wouldn't know my cats avoid, you know, large things of water like the plague. Alright, if I was bananas, where would I be? I'd be at the fucking grocery store. I don't know. Hey, Zippy! Read the posters, punk. They contain useful information. <laughs> it's so kind of you to help me. If you need anything, maybe you could have a look in my storehouse. Uh, okay, where's that? Alright, that was a good guess. Fruit storage room of Itan. Aha! I can't read that. Oh, I see. Uh, I was looking into it, and this game was developed by a uh, company called Neon Software GmbH, which no longer exists, and that's their logo backwards. No N. You found the bananas! Bring them to the gorilla, maybe he'll let you pass the gate. 
I mean, he said he would, but I do appreciate the acknowledgement that, yeah, these guys are transparently evil, so he might be lying. I don't mind a game with transparently evil enemies every once in a while. I mean, it's not like Ganondorf ever had any redeeming qualities. Knuckle Dragger. Lucky what I got. Hey! You got me bananas. Yummy ripe bananas. Okay. If you sneak through the gate now, I might just look away for a moment. Thanks, dude. Village Green. Oh yeah. <laughs> you found one of the tasty pumpkins Itan has lost. Oh wow, I just I totally just remembered. There was I remember seeing this video of uh oh, that's fucking right, cats love pumpkin. Like, you know, hairball medicine is supposed to taste like they, they flavor it like pumpkin, so they'll eat it. I remember seeing the the video I was about to mention. Uh every year after Halloween, this one pumpkin farm just donates all of the pumpkins they didn't sell to uh, a zoo so they can just toss them in with, with the tigers and the, the lions. They just love clawing at and eating at pumpkins. Lost track of it for a second there. So you guys can't see it, I hope, because I, uh... What? More Quickly! Close gate! Could destroy whole village! Hey, get back into the village quickly! We're being attacked! Nice initiative there, Kay. Oh shit. Borax? What makes him so angry? And what's that? He's carrying a magical amulet around his neck. Oh, that answers both of those questions. Oh, shit. Okay, running. Oh. That's gonna take a while. Oh, oh I rolled into the way. I lost a fair chunk of health doing that. I can't fucking see. No, my organ. He is injured. Quick, get him into the village. Land sakes, it's all my fault. If I hadn't lost those pumpkins, you wouldn't have had to go find that awful borax. Now borax is gone, and we can rest easy knowing that Shen protects us. No prob, I tan. I'm still breathing. And I've found your three pumpkins. That's wonderful! Thanks so much! Hey, as a reward for your wonderful help, please accept this key. Ah, uh, and before I forget, your master is sent for you. Okay, okay. That's, uh... Not related to fighting Borax, maybe that was supposed to happen. Okay, that sounds about right. Well, thanks, Itan. You found a key! Well, then you can certainly open some door or gate somewhere. I always liked how weird the key system in video games is. All the locks in the world will fit the, the same key, but every key shatters as you use it. That doesn't even have an unlocking animation. That's a bit shitty even for 2005.
I mean, Ocarina of Time had a uh, un un had an unlocking animation, and that was in 1998. Sick. I didn't even lose a life there, so... I suspect that Borax will show up again later, and I'll have to defeat him for reals using uh, a not-wooden sword. Remember this lesson when you encounter a similar situation. I swear all those guys are even voiced by the same actor. Maybe they're brothers. Tai Bang of the famed tutorial house. Up. Is it true? You really fought Borax? Yes, Master. Suddenly, he was just there and attacked me. I fought like a tiger, but with the wooden sword, I couldn't defeat a butterfly. Strong. Yes, of course. And your training. You still have much to learn. Yeah. Okay. Let's build your fighting strength with some new combat techniques. First, I'll show you how to defend yourself. Block strikes, but you have to turn into the direction of the attacker. Pay attention as I attack. That makes sense. Subtleties. You can do a very powerful attack from a somersault. You did teach this me that. is a particularly powerful attack to use on an opponent who is lying on the floor. Oh wait, I'm a literal somersault. Whoa, that was kinda cool. Oops. Failed. No, no. Why aren't I doing it right this time? Great. You're getting better and better. Take this as a reward. It's a little piece of paper that says knowledge is power. Oh. This is a magic point container. With this, your magical power increases. You might not know much about your magical powers, but be patient. I will induct you into the art of magic. I feel like magic point container was a placeholder name. I think you are now ready to learn a special tactic, the combo attack. Oh yeah. You see that? That's a demon Zhong. Those are the urns cast from the damned souls that are forever trapped inside. Whoa! If you destroy a demon Zhong, you gain the power of the demons for a while. And you can move very quickly. There are demon Zhongs made out of wood, stone, and metal. You have to hit the wooden ones only once to set the demon's power free. 
the stone and metal ones have to be hit more often. Destroy the Zhong. For every Zhong you destroy, you gain a combo level. The higher your combo level, the longer you stay in combo mode and the stronger your attacks. When you are in combo mode, you can make a combo move to the next Zhong and destroy it. To open this chest, you need a three hit combo. That's pretty you metal. Try to execute the combo moves and the next attack very quickly, one after another. That way, you can blend them into one smooth motion. Try it. I don't know what the move is, but okay, I'll just wing it. I kind of fucked that up, but I this think I This is a oh. precious item. An extra life. Take care that you always have a good number of extra lives. This will be very useful to you. That's totally fourth wall breaking, but okay! Hey, please, get me the bottle of nettle meat from up there. As you can see, you can't reach them the normal way. Use the power of the Zhang. But don't be disappointed if you don't get it at once. Be patient with yourself. Focus your chi, and your striving will be crowned with success. Destroy the Zhang and move between them. Be quick about it. Oh. The feel for the right moment isn't in you. You will fall to the ground. But don't worry, the Zhang will reappear. I hope you understand what a damn soul that you can hell. move from one Zhang to the next through the air. I was just gonna say, uh, I just broke those things with uh, one swing of the wooden sword. I think Kay just needs to trust in himself more. It's a poor craftsman who blames his tools, like my dad used to say. He just kind of stopped saying that. I wonder if he blames his tools for something. You found a bottle of nettle mead. Your of nettle mead. Your master wants. Sup? Yeah. And here you go. Thanks a lot. Of course, this was only a test. We are not at the end of your lesson yet. Now, we will work on the use of your magical abilities. These can be especially helpful when you have to stand your ground against stronger opponents. That makes sense. You see the small bottle over there? No. Should your magical powers run out, its contents will serve you well. Gather magical energy. No, the that energy bottle. discharges and detracts life energy from all opponents around you. Whoa! But bear in mind, when you don't have magical energy, you can't do a magic attack. For That's every magic attack, you need at least five magic points. Just try it with these statues once. Hold X to load, re release to fire. And a magic potion. When you use it, it fully refreshes your magic points. Uh, I don't know how to use that. It's not L. All right. Gather magical energy. The energy discharges and detracts life energy from all opponents around you. But bear in mind, when you don't have magical energy, you can't do a magic attack. For every magic attack, yes, I got that. You need I just... at least five magic I'm gonna try points. the bumpers. Just try it with these statues once. I should have been standing in the middle, I guess. Fantastic. I wish all of my people.
pupils were as talented as you. Kay, this is your reward. Pretty sure that's not how school works, but okay. Oh. This is a berserk potion. It increases your strength for a limited amount of time. Okay, your training is nearly finished. But there is one last test. You have to go to the cliff. Using the Zhang there, you have to win a fight against me. This time, I will be imitating the rat's tactics. Go ahead, I'll follow. Well, shit. Okay, L switches back and forth between the available potion. I should probably just drink this now. Oh, no, 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 never mind. That fully replenished my health. And by health, I meant magic points. You know, it kind of annoys me that I have less uh, health than magic, but I guess that does make sense. Okay. Considering everyone was calling it my first lesson earlier, it's kind of weird that I'm going over my final test now. But we'll see it in the next episode of Let's Play Legend of K. When he use those especially metal wooden containers. Ah, stretch. To take on K's master. And prove ourselves worthy of the title of warrior. Later!